Gabe Vincent has played an instrumental role to the Gaucho's success for the past few years. He is a leader on and off the court. He has dropped 188 three-point field goals, placing him eighth on the Gaucho leaderboard. He's ranked 26 in all-time scoring and was on the honor roll from 2014 to 2016. Saturday night will be his last regular season game against Cal Poly. Here's what he had to say. Why UCSB? Uh, it's a great campus. I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the people. I fell in love with the staff that was here and the players. Um, and it really felt like home when I was visiting while I was here. What's one place you definitely want to visit in your future? Ooh, Italy. Why Italy? I, just, I love Italian food. Um, I just think there's a lot of great sights out there to see. What were your initial thoughts after your injury last season? How soon I could play again? Did you feel like, did you ever question like, you know, would I really be able to come back from this? Or once they told you the timetable of like, hey, you could come back in nine months, like, did you ever second guess that? Or were you just like, let's get this thing going? Uh, no, I never really second guessed it. It took me a couple weeks to really process what was going on. But I just was going through, you know, the motions of trying to come back, trying to get healthy, doing what they needed me to do, and, and just take care of the leg. And earlier in the season, there's one point in the game where the knee brace actually broke, and yeah. from that point on, you've just been playing without it. So for you, uh, how has that been, just regaining that confidence and, you know, trust yourself in your knee? Uh, it's been a process. Uh, it didn't come easy. Uh, I planned on getting out of the brace the following week, but it broke, so it kind of just came early. So uh, that was different, but... You know, it worked out well, and, you know, I just feel stronger and stronger every day with it. How much did it hurt to see Bob Williams go, um, but now also to have Coach Joe as your head coach this year for your senior season? Um, it hurt a lot. You know, me and Bob were close. Um, obviously, he's one of the people that recruited me and a big part of the reason why I ended up here at UCSB. Um, but, you know, with that being said, that's the part of the business and how things go, and you have to move forward, and I think, you know, we've responded well. And, uh, Coach Joe's done a great job of bringing in a good staff, bringing in other guys like Marcus and Leland um, to help us compete. Have you ever seen Coach Joe go off on the sidelines? What are your thoughts? Like, have you ever just laughed? You can keep it real. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of funny. He's not the biggest guy, so whenever he gets upset, it's kind of it's kind of comical. But uh, but it comes from a good place. You know, he's a real competitor and he loves to win, so that's what he's all about. What is it like being a part of the team that is currently in the midst of you know having one of the greatest win turnarounds? In the year in the nation this year? It's special. I mean, this group we have in general is special. A big part of the reason why I was trying to get back so quickly is because of the potential I saw in the guys like Marcus and Leland coming in and you know having the bigs back that we didn't have towards the second half of last year. So um, it's huge. And it's being part of this is just special and trying to just finish this the right way and accomplish what we set out to accomplish at the beginning of the year. Yeah. And from Big West freshman of the year until now, what has been the greatest memory for you? That's a great question. Maybe just my first game back from injury. Just, you know, suiting back up with the guys again after something that happened so tragically in, in the midst of such a terrible season and turning it around to this, you know. How emotional will Saturday's game against Cal Poly be for you your last you know, regular season game of your mm -hmm. career? Uh, to be honest, this whole season's been pretty emotional. Uh, coming back from injury uh, day by day, knowing it's my last season. So, I mean, things have been building up. So, I'm sure it'll be an emotional game. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's a game we need if we want to accomplish what we got to accomplish after we take care of business Thursday. And, you know, so we have to lock in on that and just treat it like another game, unfortunately. But, you know, it will be emotional and try to harness that emotional will be difficult. And during the span of four years, I mean, you've definitely seen Cal Poly a fair amount of time. So, what can you say about that rivalry and just, you know, how great it truly is? The rivalry is real, man. I don't know how else to put it. Uh, even just driving through slow or, or being on their campus is just like, you know, this is different, you know. Um, but, you know, it's, it's long, long in route of that rivalry and definitely happy to compete against them again. And, you know, I was a little upset we dropped that game at their place. That was my first time I lost to Cal Poly. So it, that's like that real personal. So I'm excited to get them back over here. Definitely. And what, what do you expect from yourself come Saturday? You know, should we be looking out for a farewell tour? Kobe, 60 <laughs> buckets, you know, 60 points? Uh, no, I think it's going to be another game. Just a game we compete and you know, if if I go off, I go off. If I don't, I don't. But uh, as long as we get the win at the end of the day, that's, that's all I'm really worried about. I remember earlier in the season, uh, you almost banged out on the dude. You almost dunked on him. Mm -hmm. Can you describe that feeling of dunking on an opponent and just how it feels? Uh, it's different because, you know, you think about it at times, like, you know, do I have to balance like that? And sometimes you just have to just go and test yourself. And especially for me, I had to really try to jump with anyone since my injury. Um, and in the moment, it was the last, my injury was the last thing I was thinking about. So I got to go score. Um, and obviously, he was a big guy. And, you know, he's 
reigning defensive player of the year. Uh, so I knew he'd go strong trying to block it, and I, I tried to finish. So, uh, but dunking on somebody is always a fun feeling. The crowd loves it. Teammates get hyped. But and lastly, how do you want to be remembered when it's all said and done? Wow, uh, I want to be remembered as a good teammate, as a good teammate, and a guy I love to compete and win. Appreciate it. Man. No problem.